Welcome to all who are joining us for Mass from Queen of Angels Parish in Chicago, especially those who are worshiping with our community for the first time. Today is the second Sunday of Easter. Our pastor, one senior Jim Kazarowski, will celebrate the Mass. There is a link to a worship aid directly above the link to the video with the music used during the Mass. In the worship aid, we'll also find a link to the readings. Thank you. 
Kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Of the just. 
salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. The Lord 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and he said to them, Peace be with you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. And as the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many of the signs in the presence of the disciples that are written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that, and that through this belief you may have life forever in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, on this Divine Mercy Sunday, I couldn't get past the words, the doors were locked. The word lock means you're closed in. Even though the, the disciples locked the doors, they were really, in a sense, incarcerated. They were locked in with the, with the lack of fear that the Romans would come and murder them. I could just hear them hearing the sounds on the street, people normally walking and thinking the Romans are coming. They're marked men and women. Also, uh, my, my, my dear friends, I believe that also they were, their minds were locked in with guilt. How come we didn't stay at the cross with the Lord. He did all he could for us and we deserted him and the greatest pain is being not there with your friends at your side when you're dying. Mary was there, Mary and Cleophas, John and Mary Magdalene. Their minds were locked and closed with guilt. And their heart, heart was locked with despair. This is what the Jesus that was to free them from sin, to free them from being slaves to the Romans in Jerusalem, being oppressed. And their hearts were closed. Jesus is dead. It's all over. We have no place to go. We can't go out in the street. We can't eat with the, our friends. We can't go fishing once in a while. We have to stay in this room. And then Jesus walks in through the locked doors, appears. 
and says, peace be with you. He unlocks the locks, locks of guilt and fear and despair. It's okay. You're free. My friends, the word lock kept coming in my mind these last few days. And I remember when I got up on Wednesday morning, it was about 6 in the morning, and I heard on the radio uh, at 5 a.m. there was a multiple car, vehicle, truck accident on, on Kennedy and North Avenue. 53 cars and trucks. I was just thinking they were probably going in like bumper cars. And, oh, the, those people's brakes were locked. And they went through fear and despair and all these things that, that, that lock them in and, and, and make them not free. And then, on the radio and then on the TV, I saw one of our parishioners, Deputy Chief John Giordano, with all these first responders, the police and the ambulances, the EMTs, and everyone, the firemen, all working together to unlock these people's fears and despair and saying, we'll get you through this. You're not alone. These were like Mary and, 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 and John and Mary Cleophas and Mary Magdalene at the cross and Jesus. These were the first responders that gave those people hope. So the question I have for you today What are you locked in today? Or what has locked you in today? Is it the fear of the coronavirus? Is it fear that you'll get sick? Is it the fear your, your, your family will get sick? Your parents will get sick? If any of you have relatives that are first responders, the fear could even be escalated. Is it the fear that you will lose your job or you've lost your job and how you're going to pay your bills. All these fears going through you. Or, my friends, are we locked into some sin, some guilt? Uh, or are we locked into the sin of despair, locked into the sin of selfishness or lust or whatever that has closed our hearts and minds to the Lord. My friends, I am sure on this Divine Mercy Sunday, if St. Faustina Kowalska was with us, she would agree that whatever the lot, we are locked into. That Jesus, the visible image of the infinite mercy of God is the key who has come back from the grave to set you and me free. Isn't that good news? Isn't that hopeful, hopeful news? Jesus is saying to you and me today, peace be with you. My dear friends, let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, 
was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear friends, let us now pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters, especially the most vulnerable, and for our own personal intentions. Please respond to each intercession. Risen Savior, hear us. Happy those who have not seen, but still believe. For all the church, may our faith lead us to recognize the risen Lord in all of God's people. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, Savior hear us. us. His great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope. For everyone in need of the divine mercy of God, may we be open to God's forgiveness through the name of Jesus and share that forgiveness with all who have wronged us. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray, risen Savior, Savior hear us, us, that through belief you may have life in his name. For the people of Queen of Angels and St. Matthias Parishes, May we hear God's call to be faithful, committed, and generous disciples. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. Many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. For Pope Francis, Cardinal Supich, Monsignor Kazarowski, and all priests, may they devote themselves to the breaking of the bread with sincerity of heart. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. For peace in the world and in our families, that Christ's gift of peace may settle in our hearts and guide us away from hate and violence in this time of illness and disruption. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. For all those who are sick, especially Jose Barraza, Angelica Hernandez, Catherine Gui, Victorino Gallegos, Pamela Swinkins, Jim Koskin, Purita Tabas, Kathleen McCarthy, Robert J. Vernon, Joanne Kett, Jim Baker, Antonio Beltran, Sarah Ann Funke, Shirley Madison, Suzanne Peterson, John Shea, Cesar Diaz, Ernesto Navarro, Joanna Wright, Bill Allen, and Sister Marianne's Rust. And for all first responders, healthcare workers, and other essential workers. May they receive the strength of new hope in the risen Lord, for their prayers and patient suffering bring grace to all the church. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. Rejoice as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. For all those who have died, especially Don Matheson, Frank and Mary Lee Kushnar, Bonifacio and Avelina Lapad, Tom Fryer Jr., Eva States, Anne and Fritz Armitat, Louise Delano, Tomas Israel Cabrera, Tessie and Janice Mary Benassiak, Fernando Perez, and Primitivo Perez. And for all those killed in the coronavirus pandemic, May they see the face of God 
and live with the merciful Lord forever. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray, risen Savior, hear us. My strength and my courage is the Lord. We pause now to remember our other needs and for the intentions of Mike Holzner and Father Harry Bowman. God's mercy is everlasting, so we pray. Risen Savior, hear us. All loving and merciful God, we ask you to hear all our prayers, the ones we share today, those deep within our hearts, through your beloved Son, Jesus, the visible image of your infinite divine mercy, who lives with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Accept, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. You lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time of our all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. And so with all the angels and archangels, we praise you forever. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her into the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your holy people, Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be full heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Thank you. 
Behold Jesus, our light, our love, and our hope. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Sunday um, liturgy today, our Mass. I'd also like to thank our, our teams, uh, Kent and Malcolm and Tiffany and Rachel, uh, who are here and with us this, 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 all this Sunday. Uh, God bless you and thank you also. And also I want to thank all of you uh, for your continued generosity online and continue, continue our mission of serving all people without exception and according to their needs. This all Put into our hearts all those words of Jesus today. Peace be with you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Easter sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May our Father's face always shine upon us. May the Son's love forever be in our hearts. 
And may the Holy Spirit grant us health, happiness, and peace of mind. And may Almighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended and is called in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.